99% of traders use time-based charts for their technical analysis. But in recent years, another chart is becoming more and more popular among day traders and scalpers as it provides a different perspective on trading than traditional timeframes. In today's video, we'll discuss about tick charts and I will explain how you should use them to find better entries in your trading strategies. Tick charts are very simple to use and very effective when measuring market momentum and trend strength. This type of chart is especially useful for short-term traders, being often used in scalping and day trading strategies. So what are tick charts? Well, the bars on the tick charts are plotted based on a particular number of transactions. For example, if we have a 200 tick chart, each bar measures 200 trades per bar. After 200 trades are completed, a new bar plots. Now very important. A single transaction could include one contract or 50 contracts, for example. The number of trades is what determines the creation of a new tick on the chart, not the number of contracts. This is a very common confusion with tick charts. So tick charts are not measuring the true number of contracts traded. It's actually the number of transactions made between traders of varying contract sizes. With tick charts, the time element is removed. If you are trading on traditional charts, you have limited options. With tick charts, you can backtest and choose your own settings. Some prefer charts with 50, 100, 200, 1000 or 2000 ticks. Others prefer to use Fibonacci numbers when setting their number of ticks, like 21, 34, 55, 89. Another approach would be to select the tick number on your charts by comparing it to a time-based chart. For example, if you prefer day trading on a 5-minute chart, you can choose a tick chart looking similar to that chart, like 200 ticks for example. If you prefer to scalp, charts with 50 or 100 ticks would probably suit you. For day trading, 500 or 1000 ticks are the most commonly used. Of course, there is no best number of ticks to trade with, you just have to test different settings and select the one that suits you. Tick charts come with many advantages. The first one is less market noise. As tick charts are transaction based and new bars are formed only when there have been enough trades, the market noise is reduced. The noise is often represented by useless candles with no real value to the chart. Plus, the wicks on the candlestick often induce traders into error. The higher the noise, the more difficult it becomes to make intelligent decisions. You practically lose sight of what's important on the chart and focus on unimportant elements. The main advantage of a tick chart is that compresses low activity trading periods. On the time-based charts, you may see 30 or 40 useless candles while the tick chart may offer you only 10 or 15 relevant ones. Look at the difference. We have these two trading ranges on the 5 minute chart. And see the difference on the 200 ticks chart. The activity on the tick chart is more condensed. This may potentially enable you to get a clearer picture of overall price action. Number 2. Better analysis of volatility. With tick charts, you will see a new bar forming only when there have been enough trades completed between buyers and sellers. In times of high activity, tick charts plot more bars. This could signal an increased volatility. Usually, when the market opens, the volatility increases and tick bars occur quickly. During the lunch hour, when the number of trades decreases, the volatility also decreases. This is often reflected in the activity on the tick charts. During low activity periods, tick charts only display a few bars. This is a better measurement of volatility because on the time-based charts, you'll continue to see the less important candles. Look at this example. The first day was a low volatility day with few bars plotted on the tick chart. The second and third day had a higher volatility with large price movements and a higher number of bars. This represents an important information for a trader. During the first day, a trader might skip a signal occurring towards the end of the trading session, knowing that the market volatility for that day was low. Number 3. Clear Swings Without the accumulation of small candles, like the ones on the time-based charts, tick charts make it easier for the trader to spot swings. Also, while during high volatility periods, the time-based charts may show only a long candle, tick charts show several smaller candles. In this way, tick charts provide traders with more information about the recent market swings. When the volatility increases, a tick chart shows more price waves and traders are able to identify proper support and resistance levels. 
Here we have a one minute chart showing the market reaction after a non farm payroll announcement, a powerful move in just a few minutes. On a 50 ticks chart, the large movement printed several bars, or exactly a three wave downtrend. A trader analyzing the tick chart had the possibility to join the downward movement after a small pullback. The one minute chart contained only four red candles, all having wicks to fool retail traders. Number 4. Better visualization of breakouts. With tick charts, traders are able to spot breakouts faster than using a time based chart. By using tick charts, traders can open a position faster and in most cases at a better price level. Look at this example. Let's say that you try to scalp a new swing high on the 1 minute chart, waiting to trade an upside breakout. The breakout finally occurs, but you wait for the price to retrace to the former resistance level and trade a retest. But the pullback never came, the market continued to go higher, and despite the fact that you anticipated the breakout and lost a lot of time waiting for the setup, you missed a great trade. And here's the same setup on a tick chart. We have the breakout and the chance to enter along once the price retraced to the former resistance level, which became support. The tick chart allowed you to see the retest. The red candle which followed the breakout candle was visible on the tick chart, but on the time based chart wasn't. This little aspect made the difference between a successful trade and a wasted opportunity. Number 5. More accurate signals from technical indicators. When using tick charts, traders receive more accurate signals from the technical indicators they use because the market noise is reduced, so the signals generated by indicators have more relevance. Take a look at this 200 ticks chart with the stochastic oscillator added and look at the divergence signal visible on the indicator when using tick charts. Now the same evolution on a 5 minute chart. As you can see, no divergence is shown. Also the choppiness of indicators is more visible on the time based charts. If you compare the signals offered by the time based charts with the one generated by the tick charts, you'll see a slight difference. Number 6. Better measurement of volume. A volume indicator plotted on a tick chart will offer you a better understanding of the strength or weakness of a price move. The combination of tick charts and volume could help traders to join strong moves and avoid moves that show weakness. The great thing about combining the use of volume with tick charts is that each tick bar is equal. This allows you to see which price movements are supported by high volume and which aren't. It essentially tells you which trends are supported by smart money and which ones are just retail money, making it likely to turn over. Number 7. Smaller and more accurate stop loss orders. Tick charts can help you in placing better stop loss orders and take profit levels on the chart. This is especially useful during periods of high volatility and rapid price movements. For example, when a market moves rapidly, the tick chart may plot multiple price swings, which can be used for placing stops and profit levels. By using a time-based chart, you can place orders taking into account only one or two bars. Basically, when using time-based charts, you use slightly higher stop-loss orders based on the swings on the respective chart. With tick charts, not only that you will be able to see more waves and more entry points to set your orders, but you will also use smaller stop-loss orders. Look at this chart. If you want to scalp this up move, a stop-loss of 30 pips is required to enter a trade. That's a big stop loss to be used on the 1 minute chart. Now look at the same situation on a 50 ticks chart. Here you are able to buy the market at a much better price. Also you can place the stop loss order below the recent swing at 20 pips distance compared to the 30 pips stop loss order placed on the 1 minute chart. When you scalp, this 10 pip difference is huge and gives you a safety net to manage your orders. Keep in mind that tick charts come with several limitations. Tick charts can give you an advantage in day trading, but they come at a cost, as not many platforms are offering free tick data. Quality tick data can be really expensive and not always 100% accurate. Also, if you have the chance to compare tick charts from different data feeds, you may notice that they differ. Some data feeds contain errors and not all ticks are included, and this may affect your results, sometimes drastically. Although it has many advantages over a candlestick chart, a tick chart should be used as a complementary tool. Sure, you can use only tick charts in your trading activity, but I recommend you to be conservative and try to combine them with the classic time-based charts. This way, you'll have the full picture of the market. 
A common technique used by traders is to spot trends and support and resistance levels on the time-based charts and pinpoint entries on the tick charts. This way, you reduce the market noise, determine the volatility and take the signals on the tick charts while confirming the movement with the help of time-based charts. As always, if you learned something new and found value, leave us a like to show support, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.